very simple job today 2.8 CRD Chrysler Grand Voyager and this one is to change the camshaft position sensor now looking at the engine that's the camshaft position sensor there you can see so it's a connector single hex bulb that comes out and we can replace it with the new one so we'll see how we get on very straightforward. Now the reason for changing this one, there's a few different things. Now I'm not getting a fault code coming up on this one. However, there's a few people that believe that this may be causing difficulty to start or occasional cutout problems. And you can get them fairly cheap for £30 off eBay, so it's worthwhile. You can see that that's now loose, hand tight. Take that out, connector, very similar, push fitting to lift the clip up. Just rattle it, hasn't quite released, you can see. There we go. Now the connector will come out. And you can see it's a three pin connector. And what we do is when we take it out, we'll just compare it with the new one make sure the product and the size look the same before we change it. So I'll just do that now. So we've got to change it over. Take the old one out. And this is the new one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few bits of oil around the seal just so when it goes in it holds itself and it's uh, lubricated so for when it first goes in. New one in. goes in. Just push it and that was it just going in because it's got a rubber washer on it. We'll just get the retaining bolt and we'll just do that finger tight at first. We'll plug the electrical connection back in and then we'll just nip it, nip it up. It doesn't need to be particularly tight there we go. And job done. We'll start her up, make sure she starts and seems okay. But hopefully that's job done. And it's as simple as that. Don't forget to like and comment if you, uh, if you find this video useful. And please do subscribe and stay tuned because we'll do some more car videos very shortly. So this is why we're thinking of changing the camshaft position sensor. We'll just do a start. And the car started without any accelerator waggling or any position and that's whilst the engine is hot. You can see I've been on a few drives today so far and it's staying warm. So we'll see how it gets on, see if this does actually make a difference and see whether it holds up over time and uh, it does the trick.